Good day. Uh, welcome to the series Growing Orchid is Easy. This is going to be the final, uh, probably one or two uh, series or episode. Uh, in this series, I will not repeat what I have been uh, discussed earlier from planting, selection of uh, pots, and also the types of orchid. Uh, now I will share with you on the maintenance. Okay, you have your orchid plants growing very well, like what I show here. After you plant them, they should grow very healthy, but you have to maintain, take care, and cure any illnesses so that they will flower as you wish. Just like the one I show here, they can flower one or two stalk in the bed. So you have to uh, provide a maintenance, uh, at least the practices that you're going to take care, spend your time, money, and also your patient. Uh, a bit of uh, theory on the maintenance of plants, well, I'm a biologist, all living organisms, man, animal, or plants, actually require food, shelter, weather, and other organisms. So what I'm trying to uh, stress here is that in maintaining a plant, you have to take care of all these components. I will discuss about fertilizing your orchid, watering, and then shading, and perhaps uh, you the least appreciated is ventilation, and finally to protect from pests and diseases. But I'm not going to go into detail or all this, but I try to uh, integrate as a holistic approach. So, but a bit about fertilizer, also you know. Uh, plant actually make their own food, but why we fertilize actually we are giving the major elements so that the plant plus sunlight plus water they can manufacture their own food. Like animal, we provide food. They don't produce or manufacture their own food. In fertilizer, you have only uh, in orchid because it is an aerial plant. Uh, your choice is foliar fertilizer. What I mean foliar mean you spray, you spray your plants with any kind of form of spray. Just spray fertilizer on the leaf, but the fertilizer must be a foliar type. And all this detail, you may have to refer to specialists or read uh, more detail about fertilization. Most important is read the label of the fertilizer because they have many types you got to understand the basic element in fertilizer so that is fertilizing and how often uh, how dilute and what time of the day uh, that will be a bit more I got to elaborate uh, I don't cover in this uh, series and then we also need the plant water because the purpose of watering is one to give the moist environment, not to dry, but not flooding the pots or whatever. And then also the plant need water for their metabolic process. So in a way you provide those basic elements. And uh, the other aspect is shading. Shading means uh, you have to use net. I have a piece of net here, black net, which I use very uh, commonly in this farm. This is to block the sun, uh, at least 50% or 70% uh, of the light that comes on the plant. Because if you don't shed the plant, the orchid doesn't grow well, and, uh, or maybe you might uh, damage the plant if you're exposed to the sun directly. So it has to be shaded or indirect sunlight and then other than that uh, a bit of uh, unappreciated uh, components of, of uh, caring is ventilation actually orchids like a lot of air movement but in the house garden or some confined area air movement is limited so sometimes you have problem with diseases and other problem lights because of the uh, 
space and also air movement. And the biggest uh, problem or complaint I get is about why their plant is not growing well, is sick. This is the element of pests and diseases. So in pests and diseases, again, uh, in orchid, it is very uh, straightforward because you don't have a serious pest and disease like if you go vegetables and food. In orchid, we are lucky that the plants are too, uh, what do you call, difficult for insects to really live in the plant because of the thick uh, leaf and stems. But diseases is more important in orchids because of the weather and our humidity uh, problem and level actually are more conducive to uh, pests and diseases. So with all those, watering, fertilizing, ventilating and pest control, we need to put this into a holistic approach because these practices actually contribute to the pest and disease problem and other major problems. Actually, uh, it is true that the problem that uh, grower face in their garden is actually cultured by the grower. We create the environment we create our way of practicing and growing plants in a modified environment, actually creating for this problem. So we should know how to solve it because we know how the problem arise. This in problem solving, you need the knowledge about how the problem arise and then get the tools to solve the problem. So with that, I, I will think that you will not complain about uh, that growing orchid is very difficult. Again, I would like to repeat, these are uh, practices that make growing orchid very simple. Okay, you can refer to books and Googles and other information on more specific uh, issues and, and practices. Thank you. Thank you for watching our video on orchids. If you would like to know more about hexagon green and orchid growing, Check out our other videos in the playlist. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Our orchid farm in Banting, Selangor is open on weekdays. We welcome visitors. If you like what we have seen, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Remember, growing orchid is not difficult. We have made it easy. See you next time.